So let's talk about making a blueprint for a prop. So why would you want to do this? So let's say you have like this box, for example, and this box has like some physics properties. It has like its own material. You want it to be a certain size. This is when you'd create a blueprint for a prop. So you can always drag and drop your static mesh into the scene, but that's usually not the best way of doing things. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click in the content browser, and if this is closed, or if it's down here, I don't know, <laughs> it's kinda going crazy over here. Let's just say it's gone. You can just click on the content drawer, then right click, and then blueprint class, and then what we want is an actor, and you can always read the description. So an actor is an object that can be placed or spawned in the world. So we want an actor. We'll call this blueprint egg monster. Now you can call it whatever yours is called, but I'm just naming it here. And then what you do, what you want to do is double click on this. And it opened up on the other screen, but here it is. So this blueprint can contain a lot of things. And in this case, we're just going to add a 3D model that we already imported and set up. And if you want to know how to do that, I showed in previous, like in the other videos on the channel. So I'm gonna drag the static mesh into the scene and then hit F, shift F, should focus on it, there we go. So it's still, so this is this model happens to be really small, so what I wanna do is scale this up in the blueprint. And you can always type in values here. So let's lock that. So it scales uniformly, let's try 25. Then you can hit compile and save. And we can actually go back to the content drawer. And now we can actually drag this guy in there. So the nice thing about this is we can control the size and the blueprint. So if this is the size we want, then we can just import it at that size every time. So if we actually make changes in the blueprint, it'll make changes to each instance. So for example, if we set this to double the size at 50, it'll scale it up there. And then also you can see there's like a grid. Right now he's kind of going through the grid. So we can actually move him up. So if you hit W while selecting your object, you can move it up. So that's actually on the origin. So let's delete this guy and then let's drag in a new one. So now it drags it in closer to where it would rest. So now it's not like sinking into the ground by default. So this is kind of like a quick little and then we can also adjust it so it's still a little bit low, so we can adjust them. So now that we drag and drop it in, it's at the correct height. So we can just drag in egg monsters as we please. And this is pretty nice because now if this was an enemy with like animations and coded functionality, we can set that all up in the blueprint. And you can see here you have a construction script and an event graph, so you can set up blueprint properties you know like different things in here like different forms of functionality so this is why this is useful but also just for making props you can customize the height so that it's the exact height you want so that when you spawn it in they're at the correct height and scale every single time and you don't have to do it the unofficial way of just like dragging and dropping a static mesh so you usually want your static mesh to be in some kind of blueprint now, the nice thing about this is it's fully customizable and it's just easy to use. You just drag and drop. Whereas if you were to drag and drop, drop the static mesh, if it's not scaled correctly, like you can see here, the static mesh is like microscopic. It's, you know, it's going to be not as easy to use. So it's very useful to set up quick little blueprints for props. So it's pretty much it for this one, kind of like an introduction to blueprints, uh, not necessarily coding or functionality with the blueprints, but just like setting them up for props. So yeah, that's it for this one. Definitely like and subscribe if you enjoyed this or found this useful. Drop a comment, let me know what you think, and feel free to suggest tutorials. Uh, and, I, and if I can make them, I will. And if not, I can always figure it out and make it anyways. So yeah, peace.